Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys some of my favorite ways on how to lace the Air Jordan 1 low. And we're also gonna be checking these out with the alternate pair of tan laces at the end of the video, so stick around for that. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is The DNA Show. Hey! So throughout this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys different lacing options when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 Low and how to do it and on foot version so you can see what it looks like. So as you can see right here from the shot above, this is the natural dead stock lacing that you would get when you get the shoes fresh out the box. Everything that you see right here is your standard lacing style that you would get going under and over with your classic cross pattern. And then at the top, it actually goes over and under where the laces come through the bottom and they have the dead stock knot right here. So let's take a look at the dead stock look on foot first, just so you guys can see an example of that because some people actually like to rock it like this so after seeing that look let me know what you think down below in the comment section me personally I don't like to go with it I like to see the laces hanging out with the bow or something like that and typically when I rock most of my sneakers I like to go with the loosey-goosey style so for this second style what we're gonna need to do is take the shoelaces out of the dead stock knot and unlace the top hole right here all the way out on both sides and then from here we're going to relace it back underneath this time crossing and then underneath this one again crossing make sure when you do this as well notice that i went underneath that first lace because i want to make sure that it's matching with the other laces that are going throughout so you can see this one everything on the right side of the foot goes over the top of the lace that's going in from the left side of the foot that way you have a same unison pattern throughout the rest of the shoe and then from here we have one additional hole at the top of the shoe and we're going to continue that pattern going throughout right here and then we're going to loosen it up and leave about maybe an inch or two just hanging from the side now this is not a high top air jordan one so we're going to have to cut just a little bit of slack on it but from here what we're going to do is loosen up the sneaker and then i'll show you guys what it looks like on foot this is one of my go-to styles when it comes to a lot of my sneakers simply because i love to just slip it on and go especially with it being a low top air jordan one it just makes it so much more easier to rock this shoe and just have them sitting at your door ready to slip on so you can see that all the laces are kind of jumbled up right here what you want to do is pull it with four fingers on each side like this and that'll help you evenly disperse the laces throughout the rest of the foot so this right here is one of my favorite styles when it comes to a lot of air jordan sneakers when i'm rocking them honestly pretty much any shoe i love to rock them pretty loose like this especially a low top so let's see what these look like on foot and then we'll get you guys opinions in a bit So what do you guys think about that style? Let me know down below in the comment section. Some people say they have a hard time rocking their shoes when they're super loose like that and they feel like they're falling off. I think if you get a shoe that's true to your size, you're not really gonna have that much of a problem. Some people like a snugger fit, some people like a bigger fit, depending on the shoe and everything like that. So again, it's all gonna be pertained to what you guys decide to do. I'm a size 13, these are a size 13. They feel really good, they fit really good, and this is what I naturally do. So now let's take it to the next style with the bow tie at the top. What we're gonna wanna do right here is just tighten it all back up and bring it back together and then we're gonna put a bow tie knot at the top and you can do either a dead stock knot as well some people like this it gives you more of a clean vibe I feel like if I was wearing this shoe with maybe a pair of pants and it was a nicer outfit I would definitely tie up the shoe and have a bow tie at the top compared to the loose style if I was rocking these with some sweats or some shorts or something like that in the summertime so that's always something to take into account depending on the outfit could potentially vary how you lace your shoes so now that we have them all the way laced up to the top right here we're still in the very top hole and what we're going to do from here is tie a bow tie at the top of the sneaker obviously there's gonna be a lot more slack right here because I don't have my foot in the shoe but we'll see what it looks like on foot Those are two different looks right there with a pair of shorts and just socks showing and then another look with a pair of pants with them tied up all the way and you can see it definitely looks good with both styles but I prefer the loose style when it comes to just socks and everything like that if I'm wearing shorts or sweats and then I do the more tied up clean look when it comes to having khakis or denim on okay so we have two styles left to finish off this video and you know the next one we have to do because you know we do this in every single video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe because we are very close 
to a million subscribers. We only need like 800,000 more, but that's okay. It is what it is. So what style might that be? The bar style. When I'm talking about bars, I mean bars. So what you're gonna wanna do here is unlace the entire shoe and get started from the bottom. No Drake. Jeez, that was corny. <laughs> So as you can see right here, you have the lace going through the top of the loop, and then you have the two laces evenly dispersed throughout the rest of the shoe. And now, let's get it started. So what we're gonna wanna do is start on the right side and go up right here to the second hole from the bottom, work our way in and pull it out. And then we're gonna go to the same hole, second hole parallel to that on the opposite side of the shoe. Go directly across, and pull that through. And then now, we're gonna take this same lace and we're gonna go up to one, two, three, fourth hole right here and pull it through and then we're gonna let that one sit and chill for a second. Now we're gonna start from the bottom here on the left side with the other lace. We're gonna go underneath it up to the third hole, pull it through, over the top, opposite, third hole, pull it through. And as you can see, the bar style is already starting to begin. So now we're gonna skip a hole. So instead of going to the fourth hole, we're gonna go to the fifth hole, pull it through. Now we're gonna come back to our OG first lace that we started with, going parallel to that. Right across, bang, bang, up to the sixth hole. So whenever you do this, typically think one side goes to the even holes and the other side goes to the odd holes. Now we got the lace coming out of the fifth hole right here. We're gonna go across to the fifth hole over here. Pull it through, tuck this in. This one's gonna come from the sixth to the sixth. Six, six, six. <laughs> We gotta chill with the Drake references today. Okay, now that we are at the top, we're gonna take these laces and we're gonna put a little deadstock knot and just tuck this inside the shoe. We're gonna have to tuck this below the tongue once we put the shoe on. But basically, this is the bar style right here. And I'm excited to see what this one looks like on foot. So let me know what you guys think about the bars. I don't know what to say, I just know we, we just talking about bars. Real rap raw. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about the bar style down below in the comment section. Now let's take it to the last and final style and that's gonna be switching up the lace colors. So I just got these in the mail and these are some cream kind of off-white laces that I got from Lace Lab. They're 72 inches, I'm a size 13, so it might vary depending on your size. But if you guys wanna check these out, I'll have a link for them down below in the description as well. I have a bunch of other different colors. We're gonna start switching it up a little bit more on the channel with the different colors and the laces and everything like that on the shoes, depending on it. This one right here in particular, it's an all-white sneaker. I think it really looks good with the vintage vibe with a little bit more of a cream lace. I've seen this on foot before, so I definitely wanted to check it out and try it out myself. So as you can see right here, we have the shoe completely stripped down and naked. So what we're gonna need to do now is crack open this package real quick. See what they got in here for you, boy. I can't even get this thing open. Jiminy Christmas, looks so easy on the commercials. Bro, how do you open this? I need a knife. All right, I'm struggling. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're back in the game. Here we go, we're back. So we obviously don't need both laces for this one because we're doing one shoe. So I'm gonna just show you guys this right here. And what I'm gonna do is just throw these on here and it's just gonna magically appear already laced because you know, it's a quick little edit, but you know, we're gonna try to look fancy today. Voila, there you have it. So let's see what these look like on foot and then I'll be back at you guys to finish off this video. So how do you guys feel about those looks? Drop some comments down below in the comment section. Also, let me know what you guys think about the lace switch up, if you like the cream vintage vibe. Honestly, I think this looks pretty fire and I low key might have to stick to this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you for tuning in as always. If you haven't seen the other lacing tutorial videos, we have a bunch of different options for a bunch of different sneakers. So go ahead and check those out. I have a playlist here on the channel. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. We're really close to a million subscribers. Like I, we probably might've just got like three more since the end of this video. But hey you know what i'm saying we we just slowly working our way if we get that many it's gonna take us like what eight hundred thousand days to get there but hey we're gonna get there yo if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side i built a vip mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, 
If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I'll also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Yo, if you guys made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite low top Air Jordan 1 colorway is. Me, damn, that's a hard one. I feel like the Chicago OG is very, very fire and it's just like a classic. So I might have to rock with that one. We're just gonna go with Chicago OG. Let me know what y'all think. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all in another video. I'm out.